Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a couple months since I've done a video that focused in on just the amusement park in the city. Um, so today we're going to take a closer look at that. Here in a little bit we'll get closer in on the, uh, the new roller coaster and the Star Wars ride in the back left of the park. Um, but now here's just a clip of everything going at once with the new coaster, carousel, the ferris wheel, the mixer, the Star Wars ride that I just added and then the big coaster here to the right that we'll pan over to. We'll move the camera down here a little bit closer to the middle of the park. Get a little bit closer view of the new Star Wars ride and the extended roller coaster there. Uh, I've gotten a lot of people asking me if I'm going to get the new official Lego roller coaster as opposed to these ones that are just Lego compatible made by Coaster Dynamics and uh, as of right now I don't know it probably looks like I won't. Um, the new Lego one looks cool but it's really expensive for something that really isn't that huge. When we pan over here to the right we'll see a coaster that's significantly larger than the Lego one. Um, and I don't know how exactly how much that one cost, but it's a whole lot cheaper than what the Lego one was. It's a lot bigger and can do a whole lot more and a whole lot easier to mod out. We'll take a closer look at the big roller coaster. Um, right now it's going up a lift system on the back that takes it around to the starting point where it's going to climb the hill up to the very top. If you look closely, you'll see Spider-Girl fighting Craven the Hunter. And then to switch angles, we can see it coming out of the big loop and how it comes around the other side to start the whole ride over again. We'll take a look now from the opposite side of the park. This is though we're standing in the ocean looking towards the back of the park so we can see the carousel, the ferris wheel, Right there is the bumper cars at the bottom, and we see the train up at the top. That's the one that's going to go around the entire city as it goes past the roller coaster in the parking lot. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's been about two months since I took a closer look at just the amusement park. In that time, most of my efforts had been spent at what we're looking at right now. Um, first thing I had to do was actually expand the overall surface area of the park. I took it out about a foot and a half, maybe two feet, just using a couple 2x4s underneath um, and then put base plates over top of it. By doing that, I was able to extend the roller coaster and make it quite a bit larger than what it was and then automate it and then add the Star Wars ride uh, to the south of that. If you go back and look at my earlier videos, you'll see that uh, the coaster was smaller and was not moving yet and there was no Star Wars ride. Closer look at the Star Wars ride. It's pretty simple. Um, underneath the black plates are just some gears. Um, it took a lot of trial and error to get the speed just right. I didn't want it to go too fast since this is going to be more of a children's ride. And then I used the Star Wars micro fighters as the actual carriages. With the roller coaster, like I said, it is a uh, modified version of the Coaster Dynamics version. Um, theirs they call the Cyclone, so mine of course is called the Bly Clone, since this is the city of Blylywood. For those who haven't put together, Blyly is my name, so I have to throw that into pretty much everything I do. And we'll finish up with just a few extra things around the park. There's the parking lot over to the left. The bumper cars right there in the middle. In the background, we'll see a pirate ship with Jack Sparrow walking a plank. And then a concert going on in the park with a band I've still yet to come up with a name for. And then the little lake in the background with an old couple feeding the ducks. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon with another one. Thanks.